In this video, we will run a compliance job to check if the Windows host in my environment has a particular version of Azul Zulu JDK installed or not. The first thing we'll do here is to create a component template. Now I'll expand this component template workspace. I'll go to the folder here. Right click, new, component template. I'll select a name here. Now in the allowed operations, for now I'll only select browse and compliance. Uh, we'll talk about all these operations in some upcoming videos. So I've selected browse and compliance. I'll hit finish to complete the creation of this component template. Now I can see that this component template Azul Zulu JDK has created here. Now I'll open the component template. I'll double click and open it. Now as you can see below here, various uh, operations, there are tabs for various operations that are created here. Now we'll see how to edit these tabs to run a compliance job. Now the very first thing that I need to add here is parts. Now the part is going to be used when we are running, uh, when we are using compliance and writing our rules. So since we are uh, we want to check what are the installed applications uh, on the server and check for version of the particular application the part that i'm going to use here is going to be applications i have clicked on this green plus sign i'll go to any server click on application move it to the right hand side and okay now the second tab that i'm going to edit is the discovery the discover tab here now i'll click on the discover tab now this is a condition uh, that we can define to uh, to discover servers so we are defining what kind of servers i want to uh, run this compliance job against now in my discovery condition i want to run it uh, against any windows host so i'll give here proper uh, component properties i'll select target and uh, operating system here target os let's say contains and windows so yeah that that's it i'll uh, save it so i want to uh, run the job against windows servers only so that's how i have defined my discovery condition now uh, i'll as you can see here the rule definition is defined now i'll go to the compliance tab and see uh, uh, how i'm going to write a rule now as you can see here the uh, part has already been populated here now i'll click on this button here to write uh, a new rule which will uh, which will uh, which is going to test uh, what version of azul zulu jdk is present on the server so i'll give it a name for now i'll just write java jdk now i'll go to the rule definition tab now uh, the rule that I am going to write here is uh, what this rule is going to do is it is going to check uh, whether or not Azul uh, Zulu JDK is installed on the server and if it is installed uh, if it is of a particular version or not. So uh, I'll write the rule here. So I'll click on this button here and I'll use the for each loop. Now uh, in for each loop I'll go to configuration objects and I'll select Windows applications. Now after that I'll use an if condition. Now if condition so what I'm going to do here is uh, in in the Windows application I'll check if Azul Zulu JDK is installed and if it is installed this has to be the version. We'll define the version and we'll see how to do that in the in a bit. Now if condition I'll add here name I'll use uh, contains Azul Zulu and if this is the name then I'm sorry this is I'll, then the version equals 
16.32.15 so this is the condition that I have uh, specified here check all the applications that are installed on a Windows server if the name is Azul Zulu then the version should be 16.32.15 if this is the version then the host will be compliant if this is if the version is something else then the host will be reported as uh, non-compliant so I'll save the rule here so the rule is save I'll close this window and as you can see here the rule has been added now I'll save the component template I'll close it now since my template is created I'll just uh, select and run a compliance job against this template so I'll right click on the template as you can see here select compliance I'll give a name here a folder is specified I'll select run auto discovery now uh, the component template is selected I'll not change here I'll select the servers against which I want to run the compliance I'll select the smart group it has two servers I don't want to remediate next execute job now next next and finish so the job is running now so the job is finished let's see what are the results refresh it here and this is the job that I created I'll right click and do a show results so the job is successful here and you can see here uh, when I expand the run it has two uh, tabs here rules and servers view server view and uh, I'll click on rule first and see what are the contents it uh, says the name of the component template and the rule here and as you can see here one of this the servers is compliant and the other server is non-compliant now the server that is non-compliant the reason here is that the left hand value which is the version is 15.34.17 and the right side value is 16.32.15 and this is the host uh, TUFKX4 which is compliant because the version is 16.32.15 let's check if that's true or not I'll expand servers and X4 I'll double click and open the server applications and here it is so as you can see this is the same version and hence one of the servers is compliant and the other one is non-compliant let's check the non-compliant as well uh, yeah as you can see since the version does not match it has reported this as non-compliant thank you for watching the video have a great day ahead bye bye